वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स प्लेलिस्ट हियर इन दिस सेशन आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू स्टॉक्स थियरम सो टू अंडरस्टैंड स्टॉक्स थियरम दीज आर माय सेशन आउटलाइंस सो फर्स्ट आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग बेसिक्स ऑफ स्टॉक्स थियरम आफ्टर दैट वी विल सी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ स्टॉक्स थियरम एंड बेस्ड ऑन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ स्टॉक्स थियरम आई एल एक्सप्लेन what is the exact case which we calculate based on stokes theorem then we will see proof of stokes theorem and then after i'll explain physical significance of stokes theorem and at the end i'll explain some uses which is there with stokes theorem so let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of stokes theorem so see stokes theorem that is been utilized for a relationship in between line integration and surface integration so i'll show you that relationship that is actually a stokes theorem and based on stokes theorem there are so many other things that we can understand so let us discuss those things first and then i'll explain how those things are helpful see stokes theorem that is based on curl of the function so first i'll explain you what is the meaning of curl of the function and then we will see how we utilize that in stokes theorem see curl of the function explains rotation of body at different position so when you calculate curl of the function of body at particular position and if that curl of the function at particular position is greater than 0 it means body can rotate in counter clockwise direction and if curl of the function at particular position is negative in that case we can say body is rotating in clockwise direction so curl of the function that explains how much torque that is acting on the body so i'll explain you that by example so it will be clear so one thing that should be clear to all what what is the meaning of curl curl of the function explains rotation of body at different position if curl of the function is positive it means body is rotating in counter clockwise direction and if curl of the function that is negative it means body is rotating in clockwise direction see this is what the basic meaning which is there with curl of the function now i'll explain you first the basic function which is there with stokes theorem basically mathematically stokes theorem expressed as line integration of function is equals to surface integration of curl of the function so line integration of the function that is equals to surface integration of curl of the function so let us try to understand the basic meaning of this function and then i will derive this function so first of all if i give you one surface you can see this is one surface which i have and if i want to calculate this del cross p dot ds then all i need to do is i need to integrate this surface with respect to curl of the function that is del cross p so surface that is this that is having perpendicular direction to this surface and curl of the function that is del cross p and if i integrate this over entire surface that is what integration of del cross p dot ds and what is the meaning of this integration of closed loop integration of del p dl so that is see this closed loop integration of this surface so this is what the meaning of this surface now see this is what open ended surface now practically what happens is like we don't calculate this uh, by single piece realistically all we, we don't have euclidean geometry in real world right so when you see any other geometry at that time we need to divide this geometry this surface in small segments right now this is very simple surface so we can directly do that as i have told you like this is what surface so we need to consider this surface and uh, we need to take del cross p and just do dot multiplication and integrate it that is this and p dl so function integration of dl over here 
both should be same that is what stokes theorem but in real world surfaces are very unorthodox so all we need to do is we need to bisect those surfaces so if i bisect this surface one can see in four parts so i have placed four parts you can see so i have bisected this surface in four parts right now if i take small surface area which is this one and if i do that uh, that cull and dot ds right so that is what this surface area dot ds that is this right now for this surface even i can do same thing del cross p dot ds so this is what surface area that is having this perpendicular direction dot del cross p similarly for all four surface i can do that and if i algebraically add it that should be equals to line integration of algebraic addition of all so if i take line integration of this small segment so that is this you can see so that should be in counter clockwise direction right so this surface is having counter clockwise direction you can see it over here similarly for this surface counter clockwise direction for this surface counter clockwise direction and for this surface counter clockwise direction surface if you observe this elements are getting in opposite direction so that will get cancelled so only this will remain present right so for any shape of surface that will happen like see for example if i give you this surface like this right one part that is having uh, that mouth over here right and uh, this is what enclosed surface so only this surface line integration that we need to take care of we don't need to see entire surface so over here even you can see we don't need to calculate line integration of all those small elements only border should get considered in line integration and this relation line integration and surface integration that is making our mathematics easier and as i have told you curl explains rotation of body so that is even very significant thing so step by step we will see all those things how stokes theorem is helpful to us so i hope that you have understood the meaning of this basic function now first let us derive this stokes theorem so see if you see the basic uh, function of curl right so curl of the function p that we can calculate as per del cross p right and one more way which is there to have a calculation of curl of the function that is limit del as tends to zero close line integration of p divided by del s so that is what the definition of curl of the function now if you further simplify this then this del s that will come over this side so i am just taking this del s over this side you can see and both of the at both of the side limit del s tends to 0 that we have considered see in this part there is nothing which is there in terms of del s so this is what line integration of p and this is what a definition of integration so this is what integration of surface right for del cross p so we can say this is what total length that is line integration of p that is equals to surface integration of curl of the function so this is what stokes theorem right now let us try to understand the basic meaning which is there with stokes theorem so physical understanding so that i'll explain you so it will gives you a bit clear idea like what is the meaning of stokes theorem now see here if we consider a flow of fluid which is happening right and let us consider one case where see a uh, few layers that is moving in this direction and bottom layers that is moving in this direction so if you place a body over here then this body that will rotate in this direction right so counter clock uh, this will be in clockwise direction so as body is rotating in clockwise direction if you calculate curl of this function then that curl of the function will be negative as body is rotating in clockwise direction now let us consider second case where upper layer of fluid that is moving in this direction and downward layer that is moving in this direction right so if you place body in between this two layer then that body will rotate in 
counter clockwise direction so here one can say curl of the function that should be positive over here so ultimately we can identify what is the torque which is happening on the body and based on the torque happening on the body we can identify line integration of complete system and based on that even we can understand how much force is acting on the system and this this is what the basic thing which we utilized in electromagnetics even where i'll explain you maxwell's equation where how do we utilize this torque theorem all those things that we will be discussing in future but here i think it should be clear to all meaning of stokes theorem that is to identify relationship in between line integration and surface integration by using curl of the function and meaning of curl of the function that is to understand whether given body is rotating in clockwise or anti clockwise direction and if it is re revolving in anti clockwise direction one can say curl of the function is positive and if body is rotating in clockwise direction one can say curl of the function is negative and based on that stokes theorem is there which is giving you idea about relationship in between line integration and surface integration so i have already shown you so whenever you have any surface and you don't need to calculate entire surface all you need to do is you just need to see the border of surface and if you do line integration of it that will be surface integration of curl of the function so this is what the basic thing which is helping us to understand geometry easily by using stokes theorem and if you see the uses of stokes theorem then we can use that in fluid mechanics we can use that in electromagnetics even we can use that to understand flow of fields like gravitational field electric field and magnetic field and we can use that in aerodynamics so these are the uses which is there with stokes theorem thank you so much for watching this video i would like to get your suggestions from your side the reason is i want all those topics that has to be covered on my channel so that students can easily learn everything which is required in the university courses and you can download all this material which i am teaching here from my application engineering funda so i am providing all those material free of cost you can download it it will be easier to you to learn all those topic which i am teaching here again thank you so much for watching this video and your suggestions are most welcome to me so please do give me your valuable suggestions which is highly required here to optimize this channel thank you so much.